Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me video for a surprise steak and dough for my friend Boston and Beck. So Scott and I are heading out there. Um, I show you this full makeup look I'm gonna hopefully get some behind the scenes of the surprise for the steak and dough. Uh, I'm really hoping to catch that on film. Well, I'm in a time crunch. I've got to go. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. As always, please like it if you would like this video and want to see more of them. Leave me your requests and comments down below in the comment section. And definitely hit that subscribe button. It really makes my day. Plus, I will say that I have some goodies coming up on my channel and my socials. So you'll want to be following them if you like free things. So I'll leave it at that. And... Keep on watching if you want to see this makeup look. Okay, so I really and truly am not sure what is about to go on my face. Um, I had to change my outfit, so I have my new look, and now I'm kind of uh, teetering between. I want to use the L'Oreal Infallible Paints in Army Camo. I want to use this shade right here because it matches my pants quite well. But I also wanted to go for like a bronzy kind of look. So I've got two quads from NARS. One is the Alhambra and the Kalahari, and I'm kind of like, ah. Oh, what do I want to choose from there? And then I also have a shade or two from my Art Deco palette that I'm kind of intrigued to use. And uh, you guys saw a picture of this and my other one on my Instagram recently. Nice close-up of all those pretty colors. So I'm going to start with my eyes in case this gets screwed up and then I can just take it off without having to take off my full face because I am running out of time. Scott's technically going to be here in 15 minutes. Um, I've semi done my hair. I just blow dried it. I wanted to curl it, but I might end up just straightening it real quick because I can do that ever so slightly faster than I can curl it. So let's do this. I'm gonna just jump right in. I'm going to, we're gonna pray for this. I've swatched them on my hand, but I haven't done a whole lot with them, so I don't know how it's going to act on my lid. And see what happens. So if anything, I'll just use this as a base if I can get the gold on top, if it doesn't quite work the way I want it to. So it's got a doe foot applicator, which, gets the color on nicely. I don't know how it's gonna blend out, so I'm gonna do one eye at a time just so I can see how this is gonna go. Okay, not blending too poorly. I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit. I realize I'm kinda of hella far away. So, it's blending out not too bad. It actually has more of a yellow tinge when you thin it out a little bit when you're blending it. I'm just using a Royal and Langnickel Crease BE17. So now that I know that it blends out not too shabby, I am going to put it on the other eye. I think I'm going to go in... Yes, yeah, so I think I'm going to go in with this shade right here and kind of put that somewhat into my crease and onto the outer third of my lids. See how well this L'Oreal color accepts other shadows on top. Not a lot of colors coming up. I'm not sure. I haven't used this quad, this uh, duo before, so I'm not sure if the shadow is just not super pigmented or if it's the L'Oreal that's not accepting some color. I feel like I'm getting a little bit, but more on the outer perimeter where there is less of the L'Oreal shadow. Now I think I'm going to take this lighter shade. Actually, no, I'm going to start with this gold shade. I'm going to take it on a flat shader brush. And I'm going to see if I can just place a little bit of color on the center portion of my lid to give it a bit of dimension. And then I have a slightly, the lighter shade here I might go over top of if it doesn't give me quite enough. This color is going on a little bit easier to the green. I don't know if maybe because it's just a brighter shade so I can see it a little bit better. The only problem is I don't feel like I can add more of the green onto my lid without completely wrecking everything that I already have on there. Which is a little bit unfortunate because I would like to intensify it just a smidge. Should we try it? We're going to try it. So I'm going to just scrape off all of the extra product, hopefully, and see if I can put just a touch more in my inner tear duct, my inner corner. or my outer corner. I'm more dabbing it than swiping it so I can keep the concentration exactly where I want it to be. I'm just going to use my fluffy brush again just to soften it a little bit into the gold that I just had. Hey, I think that actually worked out nicely. All right, good job L'Oreal. And then just lightly again, just touching over the gold 
right in the very center. So I'm debating between using this Art Deco color or the lighter color here. I think I'm probably going to go with this lighter color because I know it matches this gold nicely. And I'm just going to pop that on my inner tear ducts and I'm going to use a Royal & Langnickel BX100 Revolution brush, which is just like a pencil brush, to put that right on the inner tear duct and the bottom part of my lash line. Now I'm not going to do anything else at the moment because I do want to do my foundation and I want to be able to get some concealer up in that business because it's a little purple today. So I'm going to be using this Rimmel foundation. This is the Lasting Finish 25 Hour with Comfort Serum in 103 True Ivory. Now this is one of the foundations that I got from Boston. So um, I just tried it out in a video that I filmed just before this that's going to go up next week. Um, of the makeup chosen by my boyfriend tag um, or not tag but challenge and I really liked it so I'm excited to use it so I'm just going in with my real technique sponge obviously and I'm going to dab 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 so far it's it looked really nice I didn't have it on earlier for too long so I'm not sure if it oxidizes very much for concealer I'm just gonna go in with my age rewind and schmuck that all over the place that's a bit better. So I'm not going all the way under my lash line. I will blend it up there with a brush, but I'm focusing the product primarily underneath, and then I'm going to have a little bit on my chin and my kubo, as well as my forehead. And I am going to blend the forehead out with a sponge. So I'm trying to get all of my planning done for YouTube and for blogging because I am getting back into things. I have found out that I am staying at my school for next year, so um, yay! Um, there are, it's, it's gonna be some change, which I'll talk about in a sit down with Sid video. Um, but anyway, so lots of fun stuff going for next year, which means that this summer I'm not gonna be doing my camp, which means I'm going to be home, and home means I can film more and I'm just gonna go in with the shade we used earlier and I'm gonna put that under my lash line a little bit using that Royal Nine Nickel BX100 brush I'm just wiping off the lighter shade that was underneath so I'm getting ready to you know jump right back in fully I'm going to hopefully from now until June I'm hoping to just keep it one video a week for YouTube and then in the summer um, I am aiming to try and get back to two videos a week, um, so I've got lots of thoughts going on. And then using the brush from earlier, same color, no extra product, just blending that color out. Um, yeah, and then I am going to try and blog from now until June twice a week. And it's going to be pretty much, I'm focused on separate content from what I'm putting up on my YouTube videos. I find that most of my blog posts have just something to do with whatever I've finished on YouTube. So I do want to make sure I have some different content on there. So I'm going to have hopefully some more um, fashion stuff on there for when I can't film like constant lookbooks. Just taking some of that gold color and placing it right in the middle of my bottom lash line. Um, yeah, so I want to have some fashion content that's up there that's separate to lookbooks. I do want to film some lookbooks and, you know, not working means that I can actually get um, some time to do lookbooks because I'm not sure if y'all know but <laughs> they're not easy to do and especially when you have to film all by yourself like it's great when I have help from like Scott or my dad or anything like that but if I have to do it by myself it is going to it does take a while so I've got lots of ideas for that and I've got this one lookbook that I kid you not I kid you not I have filmed two two times already over two different spring seasons and I'm going to probably attempt to do it again and I'm going to go in a little bit with this contour color from my Morphe palette with my Morphe M458 like chisel brush um I have yes I have some lookbooks that I want to do uh whether the ones I've tried before or new ones but uh, I love filming lookbooks like they're so much fun to do um and it really pushes me to get outfits that work 
um, and outfits that maybe I haven't worn together before, like pieces I haven't worn together before, or pieces that are neglected in my closet. This shade, same brush. Um, I would like to donate some more of my clothes. Um, now for highlight, I'm going to start with this Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow Suntan and Sunlight. And I'm going to put a little bit of this on my finger and blend it out my cheekbone, and then I'm going to go over it with the Champagne Pop. So, I'm excited for all the things that are to come for the summer. We could all just keep our fingers crossed for Scotty. He's got an interview for what I call a career job, not uh, retail. Um, so I'm hoping that he can get that. This is a C147 round angle blender. Again, probably from Crown Brushes. There's no name on it. And then just gonna pop that on top of where I just placed the Charlotte Tilbury one. So yeah, it's gonna be so weird to not be working over the summer, because it's been a few years since I've had that luxury. It's gonna be weird to have time off, but it's gonna be really nice. So I'm deciding between blushes. I'm either gonna use the Milani Romantic Rose, which looks like this, or I'm going to use Blissful by Tarte, which looks like this. But see, it seems like the, the packaging, if it was the color of the packaging, it'd be perfect. I feel like it's just a little bit more pink, so I might go for this, the more subtle one, just because I don't want it to be over the top. And just popping that between my contour and my highlight. Helps to bring it all together. I always end up putting my highlight on before my blush, and every time I go, why? But in the end, like, it doesn't really matter. Like, it works out for me. I feel like this side of my contour, in person, is not so bad, but I feel it's a little harsh at the moment. So I need to do my brows. That's what I need to do right now. So I'm just going to uh, comb them out with my spoolie. And I'm going to be using one of my Essence brow products today. This is the... Make Me Brow Duo, and this is in Mix It Brunette. And I'm gonna go in with the lighter shade with my Wing Lighter 317 from Zoeva, because I find it's like the perfect brow brush. I also have one from Essence that I use, but this is just the first one that I grabbed. Brows are something that I'm like really trying to focus on and to improve and to play around with and try different things. So obviously I have a whole bunch of brow products that I've got recently uh, from Wet n Wild and from Essence. And I'm going to, I'm gonna get a blog post up soon of different ways to do your brows with like different products. So it'll kind of force me to to try and actually do products. You know what, this contour is just bothering me. Bothering me. He's here. I'm gonna use my Lash Renegade Mascara, which I quite like. So now for my lips, I'm going in with a L'Oreal Paris Infallible in Nude, just to line them. I'm going to fill them in slightly, but not too much. Now, I'm toying between two different lipsticks. They're both MAC. This is a cream sheen in Crosswires. I like that one. And then this one is a cream sheen called On Hold. And just a little bit darker than the first one, so let me see. Um, I'm trying to play into one of the colors of my blazer. When in doubt, wear both. So I'm going to start with the on hold, and I'm going to put this in the center of my lips. Yeah, this is a little bit more pink than I'm going for, so I'm hoping that this one, the coral tones, pull it together a little bit more. So this is the final makeup look. I am going to go get dressed. Okay, so they're going in. Ladies and gentlemen, trying to fill your tables up so that you have tables of six, I have two tables of eight on the stage. So, yeah, but for the most part, ready. we want you sitting at so four tables. Uh, so four we're going to see six. how this goes. At each table, with the exception of two eights.
bit more. So they are making their rounds. They actually thought they were coming for uh, Chris's brother and mom's birthday, so that was a pleasant surprise for them. Definitely got some shock. There's some shock factors. So they're just walking around saying hello to everybody. Craft breweries. It's the Albino Rhino Beer Festival. Yeah, the Albino Rhino I think you can pay 20 bucks to get in and get like, I think it's three pints and yeah. some food like included. Then you can buy samples. Why are you at me? Oh, because you just so all right, section 230, row 9. The game time is at 12.37 p.m. on May 31st, 2017. <laughs> the weather will, it's a dome, so it doesn't matter. So, why don't we start the bidding at $66 a piece? Why don't we start our bidding at $65? Do I have $65? Anyone willing to pay $65 for these tickets? Great, please. I got one sitting on the back. Peter, all right, thank you. We got $65. $65. Can anyone give me $70? $70. Okay. I'm very disappointed my mother, my grandmother, and my grandfather. They usually tell me everything. Um, so thank you very much for everyone for being here, even the people that we haven't actually met. I haven't met before. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Do you have anything to say, Bob? <laughs> I've only had two beers, so if I seem a little nervous, because I am. <laughs> I want to thank Scott and them for coming up with the name Bossy Chris's only friend. <laughs> That's very flattering. It was, it was very true. <laughs> I want to thank you all for being here and to my own parents, mom, dad, thank you for organizing this, Jonathan Thomas, thank you for helping. And for all of you to keep it a secret from Boston, I know that's very, very hard to do. <laughs> About a half hour before we found out what we were doing, she was begging us to tell her. And we had to stay strong, and it paid off. We saw her when she came in. Uh, thank you for everything. Uh, we love you all so much, and thank you for having a wonderful time. I'm back. Um, I should have mentioned that I also had Scott's dad's birthday dinner after the event, but that was only quick. If you guys follow my Snapchat, you'll see the ice cream cake that I devoured. But I did want to share one more thing. Uh, there was a silent auction, which I showed a clip of, and I got the puzzle! So I got this uh, City of New York History Over Time puzzle, which is kind of cool. Um, it's got like three layers, and at first I was thinking it was going to be a 3D puzzle, even though it says 4D, but um, I don't actually have to build the buildings, they are just plastic, but it is kind of neat. It's got different layers of uh, New York over certain periods of time, so I'm kind of excited to do that, and they had a great time, so um, so happy that we could support them and get all ready for the wedding. So the wedding is in July. Sydney is looking for an outfit to wear to said wedding. Haven't found anything yet. We had the trivia. Our team came in third. It was very tight. I think the top three teams were all within like a point or like a point and a half of each other. Um, we could have won it all, but you know, we changed some answers, regretted those changes, but we had a lot of fun. And our team name was um, Boston and Chris's only friends because everyone else in the pub was basically family to one of them or like maybe the odd neighbor but like friend wise like it was pretty pretty limited uh, just because they do have a lot of families so they're I think literally limited to like one friend each for the wedding so Scott gets to be the one friend for the wedding and I get to obviously be the plus one for it so that was it was a really fun time like I'm happy we came in third I'm okay with third. Um, I will have a blog post of the full outfit. So I will link the blog post down below when this outfit goes live. That is it. That is it.
I'm getting rambly now, and I'm sure this is going to end up being a very long video. So, I will cut it off there, and again, I wish Boston and Beck nothing but the best, and uh, I'm excited for the wedding, and I'm excited for summer. Summer. My birthday, then the wedding. Their wedding is two weeks after my birthday, so that'll be fun. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video, and of course, if you have any requests or comments, leave them down below. I'd love to read them. Give it a thumbs up, and yeah. See ya!